Korea, or let's be fair, Kim Jong Un, the pesky mosquito that is constantly buzzing around threatening to bite, is currently being a bit of a pain in the ass. On top of the country's illegal nuclear weapons testing, Kim Jong Un's threat to Australia, South Korea, Japan, and the United States of America and its territories are becoming an almost daily occurrence. While he is clearly crazy, the North Korean dictator's threats do have some substance, so why don't we just do something about it? Hello, and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, where today we are continuing our war series. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and I am responding to a question that I have seen a lot in the comments sections of our videos recently. Why don't we just nuke North? North Korea. As of the time of recording this video, North Korea is amid threatening Guam, a Pacific island of strategic importance to America. The island is home to a number of America's nuclear bombs that could be deployed to strike Pyongyang and wider parts of North Korea. Despite clear provocation from the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea and America's usual rhetoric of the best defense being a good offense, striking the North Korean peninsula with anything nuclear would be a huge mistake. Here's why. Despite being called the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea, the country is anything but democratic. Democracies involve corruption free elections. In North Korea, the same family has been in charge since the country was founded amid the Korean War in 1948. Also, while elections do technically occur, they are single candidate races, and the candidates, of course, have already been selected by the Workers' Party of Korea, which is headed by none other than Kim Jong un. His party and him have been deemed supreme. So basically, far from being a democracy, the country is run by an unelected individual with supreme powers, which is far more like a dictatorship. The 24 million citizens of North Korea are not free. From an early age, they are force-fed North Korean propaganda and are taught that Americans are murderous criminals. Even if they don't believe this, there is nothing they can do about it without the fear of being killed or sent to concentration camps. Detonating a nuclear bomb would not only play up to North Korea's depiction of the evil West, but it has the potential to kill or injure millions of innocent people who have little say in the leader of their country's actions. This would be a travesty. It is not only North Korea who could be harmed if America nukes them. It could also be very damaging to two key allies of the United States, South Korea and China, with which North Korea shares borders. North Korea is a small country, and a nuclear attack on some areas could lead to radioactive fallout poisoning southern parts of China or northern parts of South Korea, including their capital, Seoul. If this happens, the United States will face serious consequences. Another serious consequence could be the retaliation of Kim Jong Un himself. While the West could very well destroy North Korea in a few quick moves, unsound ethics aside, the thing is with nuclear missiles is that you usually know they're coming. It could be enough time for North Korea to send a few Americas way, and undoubtedly enough time for them to strike their southern neighbors as well as Japan and Australia. Of course, thousands of years of human conflict has taught us that war breeds even more conflict. American intervention in the the First Korean War is part of the reason there is such tension with North Korea today. If America were to hit North Korea, if they were able to take out Kim Jong Un, it may solve an immediate issue, but it will still create more issues than it solves. The Iraq War and the way in which the toppling of Saddam Hussein was conducted in effect contributed to the creation of ISIS, one of the world's biggest terror threats today. If we were to topple North Korea in such a way, the West could be breeding the next generation of terrorists who want to watch the Star Spangled Banner and its its associates burn. Finally, if America were to nuke North Korea, it would officially paint them as worldwide aggressors number one. The United States has been the only nation to ever detonate a nuclear weapon in warfare. The aftermaths of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were so vile that it has been enough for a 70 year worldwide nuclear amnesty. If America wants to be seen as a nation that inspires peace rather than an aggressor, it cannot be the first to break the best part of a century's nuclear peace. So, for those asking why we don't don't just nuke North Korea, this is why. Yes, Kim Jong un is aggressive and dangerous and has to be dealt with, but there are no simple answers in treacherous political situations like this. There are, however, tried and tested wrong answers, and dropping a nuclear bomb on North Korea would be one of them. It would 100% paint a future of more conflict, chaos, and death. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. What did you guys think of today's topic? Leave all of your thoughts and continued discussion points down in the comments section below. I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video and you find our war series engaging, make sure you hit that like button. For now, remember to stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.